Terminator Zero review. <laughs> I'm also going to be doing some Barbell Curls Till Veil. So Terminator Zero is the newest Netflix anime. I've been looking forward to it for quite a while because I'm, I'm a big fan of a lot of what they do with like Devilman Crybaby, Cyberpunk Egg Runners, for example. The basic plot of the story is you're following Malcolm, who's a scientist, and his family, as well as the Terminator, who's come back, and a Guardian that's tried to come back. <laughs> if you're familiar with Terminator, it is pretty similar. I've seen a lot of reviews saying this is a whole new thing they've done with it. But like, honestly, it's really not. But that doesn't mean it's bad. However, I don't think it's as good as it's being made out to be. Some of the highlights, I do think the score was very good. <laughs> uh, really suited the scenes, very dystopian, very mood setting, build suspense, etc. The animation was also very good. I thought it looked very similar to Psycho Pass, and lo and behold, it is the same studio, Shock. Um, so if you do like those type of shows, you probably will like this. The plot, without spoiling too much, is pretty standard Terminator. You know, you've got two people being sent back in time to try and change the future. A lot of stuff is happening to make paradoxes happen. Um, I did really like how they portrayed time travel in this show and the consequences of it and the looping system of it. And I reckon with all the new AI stuff happening in our world, looking at the worst end of it in Terminator really puts things in perspective. I think the show tries to be very uh, thought provoking, but it's very surface level. I think a lot of the themes, nothing really groundbreaking. It's only an eight episode series. Episodes two through five to me felt very, I, I'll say slow, but there just wasn't a lot that really happened. You kind of got the three, three groups of characters that are being followed and nothing is really happening. I did like how there was no connection to the other Terminator franchise. Um, so it's not like you've got to watch everything to know this. <laughs> I thought the ending was pretty good. Left a lot of things answered, a lot of things unanswered. It's definitely set up for season two. It just didn't fully hit the mark for me. I did, I, again, I liked it. I just didn't love it. There are Netflix has a lot of other really good anime. Pluto, for example, is another Netflix anime that covers these AI robot themes, dystopian themes, thought provoking themes. And I think it does it overall better than Terminator. I had really high expectations, and I might have set myself up a bit, but... Um, one of the key themes is, is humanity worth saving? Are we creating these tools just as weapons of war? Are we creating them to benefit our own lives, save each other? It's kind of the standard thing these days, but it did it pretty nicely. Connecting to kind of how they've explained time travel, um, the concept of fate is present within this quite a lot. Some things can't be changed. <laughs> I'd be back. I'd be back. I'd be back. <laughs> Another pseudo critique I had is that it doesn't really give you a lot of time to kind of get connected to any of the characters because it's moving around so much, and they are. It's not. It's not a long show. You never really quite. Maybe one or two of the characters. I can see people getting connected to, but it's very surface level stuff. So then when things happen, you just don't feel too much. The way they've done the story and the way they set up the ending, this really can just do whatever it wants to be. I want to be a sex. I may as well mention it too, but the uh, voice acting is really good. Typically I watch sub for anime, uh, but I've heard the English voice cast is really good too. Great animation, great music, interesting story, but a bit surface level at times. But overall, I did enjoy it. Would I recommend it? I wouldn't recommend it if you haven't seen some of the other Netflix shows already mentioned, just because I think they're better and a better use of your time if you haven't already seen things. But my overall rating for Terminator Zero on Netflix, I would give it. <laughs> Six 
seven barbells. Six sexes, seven barbells. That is my rating. I'll catch you all on the next one. I'll be reviewing Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And I have booked a sax lesson, so hopefully we see some improvement soon.